Elevate. And in today's episode of Elevate with Ankara, I will be revealing to you the second garment in the sewing series. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. I am so excited to be able to bring to you the second garment in this sewing series. If you're new to the series, myself and Creativity by T, Talisha, here on YouTube, have put together a sewing series where we are showing you how you can elevate some basic sewing patterns by using some Ankara fabric. Now in the first garment that we revealed, it was a button up top or blouse. Now in today's garment, it is a pair of pants. In my previous video, I shared with you some patterns that I had in my stash, pant patterns, that I felt could be elevated with Ankara fabric. And from those, I selected one. Quite a few of you gave me some input in the comments as to which one you thought I should make, but spoiler alert, I actually sewed those pants before I posted the video. <laughs> so it was kind of too late to take a suggestion. However, one of my sewing friends here on YouTube guessed which pattern that I would make and she was absolutely right. So Teresa of Lost My Thread, you got it right. I sewed the McCall pattern. Now, if you're not following Teresa on YouTube, you should because she's very entertaining, she's very talented, and I really like her personality a lot. I think you'll like it as well. So anyway, she guessed that I would be sewing up McCall M7907, and that is this pant pattern here. This pant pattern was so much fun to sew up. I thought it was going to be a bit more challenging than it really was. The instructions were written really well, so it was definitely an easy pattern to get through and didn't take very much time at all. I'm gonna give you some details about this pattern. This particular pattern is a size 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. That's the range. Now, I want to give you some advice on picking up your patterns. Now, if you are typically a certain size in say McCall or Simplicity, don't automatically assume that you will fall in that size for every single pattern because in this case, my measurements did not fall in my typical size, which is a size 16. They actually fell into an 18 waist and a 16 hip. So their measurements were slightly off. Typically, I will go for a 16 waist and a size 14 hip. So I'm glad I looked at the measurements before cutting into this pattern because I definitely would have cut the wrong size and it would not have fit me at all. So the size 18 waist is a 32 and the size 16 hip is a 40. So that is what I needed to do is to grade between those two sizes. So I'm glad I definitely paid attention to that and I encourage you to do the same when you're selecting your pattern sizes. This particular pattern has four different views. There is a wide leg view, and I'll insert a picture on the screen of the cover of this pattern. View A is actually not featured on the front of the pattern, but it is a wide leg pair of pants with large cargo style pockets on the sides. And then there's view B. View B is a wide leg as well, but it actually has a uh, two piece front and back leg so that you could make a um, really cool like uh, lantern shape of leg, which is really cool. I definitely wanna make that pair someday. And view B kind of comes in more at the ankles. And view D is a wide leg pair that is on the longer length. And I absolutely will be making those because when you see how cute these pants are, I'm sure you'll be able to imagine how elevated they will be in a wide leg. So we're going there. But anyway, I really enjoyed this pattern. This pattern requires a seven inch zipper and it has a two hook and eye closures. So that's important for you to know. And there is a view in here that requires bias binding, but mine did not. The suggested fabrics for this pattern are chino, twill, wool blends, and denim. But after you see the pictures, you'll be able to see that Ankara is definitely appropriate for this pattern. I loved sewing this. This is definitely an easy pattern. Uh, upon reading the word easy on this package, I was like, how could it be easy? There's a pant zipper. And from my experience, patterns that have buttons and zippers don't typically fall in the easy category, but the instructions were written so very well that a beginner could absolutely make these pants. I think that the instructions for creating this zipper and the zipper fly and all of that was probably better than some of the other patterns that I've tried in the past that also have a zip feature. So I highly recommend this pattern for beginners and I know that you can do it. To be perfectly honest, I would say that the most challenging thing for me with this pattern was hand sewing the little pant hooks. 
and it's just because I hate to hand sew. <laughs> if you don't mind so much, then you probably won't struggle at all. But this is definitely a pattern that anyone could sew up if you have the patience. And I sewed this up in just a couple of hours, so I'm really proud um, to be to have completed these beautiful pants and to be able to share them here with you on my channel. So the fabric that I chose is a fabric that I shared in my Ankara fabric stash video. So you'll be able to see it's something that I've shared on my channel before. It's so gorgeous. It's this really great tealy kind of blue. And it's it's weird because it, it's like teal, but it's also kind of green. I don't know how to explain it, guys, but it's such a gorgeous fabric. And then it has some really great purple and gray designs all over it, little black triangles. And if you look close, it has all these really great black vines all throughout it. So gorgeous. I love the way these came out. They're so good. And one of the things I really like about these pants is that it has belt loops. And I'll show you those belt loops. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of camouflaged into the fabric, which is another cool feature of Ankara fabric is you can hide some of those things. Um, they have some really great side deep pockets. You can put all kinds of stuff in here, guys. This is a nice pocket, but these are the gorgeous pants. And let me show you the cuffs at the bottom. As you can see, the wide leg has been gathered and then this little cuff has been added on the bottom. It is a separate piece that you sew on to create this really great shape. Such a great pair of pants, okay? Such a great pair of pants. And you'll see in the pictures how much I love them, okay? <laughs> This pattern has 10 pattern pieces, which seems like a lot, but the pattern itself, if you follow the instructions closely, comes together really quickly. So I would not let the number of pattern pieces discourage you from making these pants. I mentioned before that this particular pattern has really well-written instructions and that if you've never done a zipper front pair of pants, that you would not struggle at all. I will say this one thing, for my friends that are seasoned in sewing and you know how to install a zipper, I know that you could probably not pay attention to the instructions and just bypass them and create your zipper the way that you normally do, but I really love the way the instructions were put together for this particular pattern. It was super annoying to have to do all the basting stitches because I hate basting. Like I just wanna go ahead and get in there and stitch it up. Like I hate doing temporary basting that I have to go and unpick later because sometimes I just wanna speed through a project and just be able to wear it. But by using all those instructions and inserting those basting stitches, I have such a beautiful zipper. It came together so very nicely. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. But I highly recommend this pair of pants if you are new to sewing pant zippers because the instructions for that were just so great. I did have a first time sewing experience with this pants and that was with sewing the hooks on the pants. And I'll show you, I sewed my hooks different from the way that they're told, you're told to um, install them in the instructions. I'll show you what I mean. But first let's look at this zipper fly. You can see what the pants look like up front before I unzip them. I love this Ankara print because it totally hides the zipper. You can't even see it guys, but the, here's the, the flap and then you unzip it here. And I didn't have a regular pant zipper in my stash, so I did use a denim zipper, which worked perfectly. It wasn't too heavy or, at all, um, but this is the hooks that I hand sewed on, and I'm terrible at hand stitching, so I was just happy to have been able to complete that step in the first place. Um, and as you can see, I have mine side to side, and the reason why is because when I had them one above the other, which is how it is in the instructions, you're supposed to put one here and then one here underneath, um, I had an instance where my pants kind of did this and created a tiny triangle. This has happened to me before in pants and I'm not sure what it is that I've done to create that issue. Um, so what I did instead is I put the hooks side by side and it keeps that in check so they line up perfectly. And um, yeah, 
gives you can see it's like perfect now so that's what I chose to do when you make your own clothes you can do whatever you want with the construction of your clothes if you feel like you need to change something up then you change it up to suit your liking okay no one's judging the inside of your garments here um, one thing that I did find weird about this pattern and it could be because I have sewn so many indie patterns lately is that there were never steps to finishing your seams and I thought that was kind of interesting because you know with the indie patterns quite often after every single step it'll tell you stitch trim finish right well it doesn't say that anywhere so I I assume that they think you already know to finish your seams which I typically use my serger so you can see here I've surged um, a lot of the inside of my garment I also inserted a label here and it says thanks I made it uh, but you can see my serger thread I just thought that was interesting considering that this is an easy pattern and when you see an easy pattern and you're a beginner you're like oh this is for me it might be confusing to make a pair of pants and not finish your seams and you absolutely need to finish your seams so that they don't unravel over time especially if you're working with something that frays like denim or twill like they suggested in the fabric suggestion section of the instructions so just a note make sure that you finish all of your seams i love the way these came out these pleats are amazing and these pleats were also basted down which like I said before, is not my favorite thing to do, but when you look at the results of after you pull the stitches out, it's so worth it. These pleats are so good. And then in the back, we have these back darts, which give really nice shaping. Again, because it's on Cara Fabric, you barely see them. I and mean, it's like very, very hard to see those little stitches, but um, these pants are gorgeous. I think they're going to look so great with heels, maybe with a skinny boot maybe with some sandals in the summer oh my goodness i love this pattern so much i definitely plan on making more i think my next pair will be out of a twill or a chino fabric and um i think that this is definitely going to be a tried and true go-to for me because of how fun i found sewing this project up and how nice it fits on my body and how comfortable they are these are kind of low on the waist, so you can actually be comfortable, guys. They're not like high-waisted pants that are going to cut off your breathing or just you eat lunch or dinner and then all of a sudden you feel like you're going to pop because your pants are tight on your waist. No, these are very comfortable and appropriate for my life, and I absolutely will be sewing this pattern again. I highly recommend this pattern to everyone, and I hope that you enjoyed hearing about this pattern and how I felt about it. And I hope that you like my pictures that I'll be inserting right now of me twirling around in my pants. As you can see, I have paired these pants with a yummy bodysuit, my favorite. I've been sharing them lately on my channel. And this is one of my favorites because it has tummy control, but it also keeps me nice and warm. And I've also paired it with a pair of heels. And so I absolutely love these pants. I think they're very cute. I think the Ankara fabric definitely elevated. If you look at this basic version on the front, um, I absolutely would say that this pattern was elevated using my Ankara fabric. So I'm very happy about that. And I hope that you actually give this pattern a try because I think you might like it as well. If you enjoyed seeing my pants and hearing my experience sewing up this pattern, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to head over to Creativity by T Talisha to her channel and check out her finished pair of pants so that you can see what she decided to make. And if you haven't watched any of the other episodes in Elevate with Ankara, I highly encourage you to hit the playlist in the information section of this video and check out our previous videos. And don't forget, if you need to purchase some fabric, there is a wonderful code that we've been given that's good through the month of February, which is Elevate, that you can use at House of Mommy Wata to receive a free cut of fabric with your $40 purchase. Make sure that you head back to our channels on February the 7th so that you can hear about the next garment in the series. This will be the third garment in the series. I'm really excited to talk to you about that. So please make sure that you return so that you can find out what it is that we'll be making. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a wonderful start to 2023. Bye.